Justice. This is Studio 4. Hey everybody, welcome to Studio 4. Um, this lady here, her name is Megan Collier. I feel so like good I've been you. gone for so long. Well, not only were you gone, you were out of the country, which we'll get to here in just a second, but we need to mention that it's National Vanilla Ice Cream Day. What a... I, some, some people like vanilla, you know? I love the song. You do? In case you didn't know it, yeah. Mm -hmm. That created all the dope sound. There you go. There you go. I could, I could sing the song, but could. I'm going to save you because I want to hear all about your okay. trip to so, Jamaica. So back in February, my husband said, I've got you a gift for Valentine's Day. Um, we're going to go to a resort in Jamaica. It's called Couple Swept Away. Just so happens it's one of the best tennis resorts in the world. And so we're going to go with our two friends, Matthew Mario and Lindsay. And so those, so then the group just kept growing and growing. And so there were eight of us that ended up going. So here's a photo. Right here? Yes. You guys think back here on the show, if you watch the show for a while. Megan was so upset because she got home and there was a broom. There was a broom. And she thought that he got her a broom for, for Valentine's, Valentine's Day. No, he got me a resort Swept gift. away. So that was really yeah. nice. So anyway, so wait, let's bring it up. So I got, I, I, I got a little static from everybody on the trip because sometimes I just say, they're, these are our friends. Okay, so here we go. Scott and Sarah, that's Cody and, and me, George and Libby, Lindsay and Matthew Mario. So we all are tennis players and we all um, decided to go and spend a week in Jamaica at this resort and play tennis. And it was so fun and it was, I mean, the weather, it was very, very warm. Those of you who have gone to <laughs> Jamaica during the summer months know that it is quite warm and it's quite humid, but it was delightful. And we got to play on clay courts, which was very exciting. Wow. So that was really fun. So here, y'all can just kind of go through some of them. but. Um, yeah, so then that's us dressed up. There's Matthew Mario. He's, I don't know, he's in his Top Gun outfit or something. I don't know. His, it works yeah, for it. I think yeah. it's Miami Vice. And then we went on a booze cruise. We went on a catamaran. So that was really fun. Did y'all snorkel while you were? We did snorkel. That was great, too. We also, there was a, a shot called the Bob Marley. And if you ever go to Jamaica, do not take the Bob Marley shot. It's horrifying. Really? Who knows what is in it? There were some people that didn't recover all trip <laughs> from the bottom. Anyway, it was funny though. And then we we made some baskets. I learned how to weave I a know, basket. Yeah. And so that was really fun. Um, but it was just such a lovely trip. There's us. That's Cody and me in the water. We're doing the water bicycles, which were very fun. Mm -hmm. They were very hard work, but it was fun. We snorkeled. We sailed. We did a catamaran. We played tennis. I did yoga. I felt very centered. Everybody. Oh, namaste. Really. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, but I will tell you what, this resort is called Couple Swept Away. It's in Negril. I've been to, you know, Mom mm -hmm. and Dad give us this yeah. for a Christmas gift every year. So we go to these beach vacations once a year. But this beach in particular was the most lovely because the sand was the softest. It was the cleanest. It was really, really beautiful. So if wow. ever you, if ever you're looking to go to Jamaica, this would be a really great. Was resort. this an all-inclusive? Did you get the free yeah. food and all yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, it wasn't all-inclusive. And I would say probably the best thing about it though was all of the. Athletic activities. So if you are, if you're a person who likes to go and relax on vacation, but part of that is, you know, you're playing golf, you're playing tennis, you're doing yoga. There's all these aerobic activities and stuff like this. This was a wonderful. Did anybody play golf, or were you guys tennis? No, we were all just tennis. I mean, we played so much tennis. Yeah. It was really fun though. It was That's really great. Well, we're yeah, glad that it was you're really back. fun. And I know it's good to take those trips where you get kind of refreshed and, yes. and and wonderful. And you know what else? It made me really thankful for the friendships that we have here. You know, sometimes you mm -hmm. you get in a little bit of a rut and you're you know. But it just feels so nice to have such close friends, you know, and, and, the, and some of those people I've known, Scott and Sarah I've known since I was in junior high school. So that was really cool yeah. to be able to kind of reconnect on that, you know, a, as an adult. And it was really, really fun. So anyway, so yeah, so it was great. Well, uh, we're glad you're back. Um, yes. My weekend, yes. uh, it was 108 do? degrees outside. Oh my gosh, by the way, we were all talking about how hot it was while we were away. That was ridiculous. I'm so like, sorry. Like, it was hot enough where you didn't want to do anything. I had to, uh, I had to play in a golf tournament, and it was, it was, uh, it was not fun. It was, uh, you, there's a point here where it gets just too hot where it's yes. not fun to be outside. So, yeah. Um, yeah, you didn't miss much. Oh, you did I am not miss so much sorry. I am so sorry. Um, coming back to some good news, though. Yes. Are you ready? You know, cats, what's, what's the cat song? Do you have, do you I don't know. I don't know any. Yes, any and I know that Judd, if Judd is in there watching right now, oh my I'm gosh, because Judd loves Broadway. And I'm Long gonna... running musical cast. Mm -hmm. I can't. I'm trying to think of what the song is. Uh, um, uh, being adapted me. into a movie, you guys. Movie shaping up to be a star-studded cast. Taylor Swift, Jennifer Hudson will both be part of the cast, so that'll be wonderful, as well as James Corden and Ian McClellan. The movie will be directed by Tom Hooper. It's being produced by Working Title and Universal, who also worked with Hooper on Les Misérables. Oh, good. 
I think it'll be good. I think Kathy I'm going to walk back to the newsroom and Judd Baker, uh, our our one of our intrepid web fellow. Well, he does a little bit of everything. I hate to put him in a corner, but yeah, we'll find out what he has to say because I don't so know the song of the cats. Uh, one fast food restaurant is expanding its menu. I want to tell you about this, but you'll have to uh, do all the cooking yourself. Oh, I don't know mm -hmm. about that. Chick-fil-A announced today that it will become the first quick-service oh. restaurant to offer full meal kits. You can do it on a Sunday, you guys. The Cook at Home program will provide fresh pre-measured ingredients to customers so they can make their own meals in about 30 minutes at home on Sundays. Uh -huh. There will be five meal options offered during the test, including chicken parmesan, chicken enchiladas, Dijon chicken, pan-roasted chicken, and chicken flatbread. Each okay. option will serve two people for just under 16 bucks. It can be picked up at the front counter or at the drive through oh. The Georgia-based company will run the test from the end of August to mid-November at 150 restaurants in the Atlanta area. So it's not actually like a mail-order kit, like no, HelloFresh or something? Right, but it's the same concept. You just drive up to the, the window and pick it up and go home and cook. Well, if you're already at the window. You might as well get some nuggets. Some right? nugs. Right? Some nug -nugs. No. Yeah, get some chicken nuggets and some Chick-fil-A sauce and call it a day. They're fries. I can't believe we talk about so their fries for a second. Oh my I gosh. Love them. They're so good. They're so. so good. Hey, the bad news is, uh, you know, vacations are kind of winding down, but there is yes. there's a lot of summer left. Yeah, well, Cody started his, you know, all the coaches are starting to go back to their, you know, their camps. When do they go back? Well, Cody started his tennis camp today. So. Oh, no. Yeah, so it's back over. Back to school shopping. It's over, you guys. Welcome back to the working world. That means back to school shopping is on the minds of many. Uh, spending this year is expected to be hotter than ever this year, and more consumers are shopping earlier for their kids. In fact, 77% plan to start shopping in at least three weeks before school begins. The National Retail Federation finds that total spending for school and college combined is projected to reach nearly 83 billion, billion with a B dollars this That's a year. Whole lot of crayons. Families with children in elementary through high school say they'll spend an average of $684, while those heading off to college plan to spend an average of $942 each. That's an all time high. Expenditures for clothing tops the list, followed by electronics, shoes, and school supplies. College shoppers will fork out the most money with electronics, followed by clothing and dorm room furnishings. Have you all done? Are you going to do um, that? Soon? Um, they, the girls have settled in on some backpacks, but Snap in it. terms of, um, yeah, in terms of the rest of the stuff. What's the cool out. backpack this year? Um, there's really not. We just, Garnet Hill. Um, oh, I don't know. Yeah. It's, Parenting 101. It's just a, it's a thing that you just get. Yeah, it's a, it's just a thing. It's a, you, you order it. Off. Does it get a monogram? You can if you want. Oh, I love a monogram backpack. Yeah, but we don't monogram just in case the girls want to switch. Oh, I we agree. Switch. Coming up on the show today, we all have problems.